God said, mind my agenda and I'll take over your affairs in life. Mind my agenda. Mind my own first and I'll take over your own. Welcome to Apostle TV. The message you're about to watch will definitely transform your life. Be blessed as you watch. I received the following prophetic alert towards our repositioning as individuals in the winner's family that will help us to maximize our portion in the wonders of Fortune 2024 Divine Agenda. Now listen. God said, Mind my agenda and I'll take over the affairs, your affairs and life. Mind my agenda. Psalm 35 and verse 27. Let them shout for joy that favor my righteous cause. Let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified that takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. Mind my agenda and I'll take over your affairs in life. You'll be shouting for joy all your days. Number two, mind the agenda of my kingdom on earth and I will take over your affairs in life. Mind, mind. Psalm 102, verse 13 to 15. Thou shalt arise have, have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yet the same time is come. For thy servants take pleasure in the stones of Zion and favor the very dust thereof. Therefore the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord and not the ends of the earth. Fearful favor. Answers to men that mind the agenda of God's kingdom on earth because it takes over the affairs of their life. Number three. Give me a priority place in your life and you secure my priority attention that will lead to your enviable decoration in life. Give me my priority place. Give me my priority place in your life. And you will secure my priority attention that will lead to your enviable decoration in life. It's a very strange year for you. Matthew 33. Seek you for the kingdom of God. And other things, things that others are dying to get shall be added to you. I will decorate you with glory beyond that of Solomon. He said, even Solomon knows that he was not a real like one of them. I will decorate you beyond my decoration of Solomon. My God. I know Christ came down and said, the greater than Solomon is here. From this assembly, from this commission, and all those who are connected to us, greater than Solomon's will rise without a fall. By tying your rise to your source, God and his kingdom. When Solomon stopped building for God, he started building for the devil. And that was the undoing of his life. Tie your rights to God, you never fall. Tie your rights to God, you never fall. As God is lifting you, keep lifting his kingdom in the same dimension. <laughs> Tie your rise to God and you never fall. You read from Matthew chapter 6, verse 28 to 33. You see how God has given us a, a jackpot of life in verse 33. Make for me first to secure your flourishing in hard times, as you saw in the case of the widow of Zarephath. Elijah said, Make for me first. And watch, the pot of flour will never fail, the cruise of oil will never run empty. And for three and a half years, she was fed and fast by giving the word of God a priority place in her life. Make for me first to secure your flourishing. In hard times, as we saw in the case of the widow of Zarephath. 
mind my own first and I'll take over your own. How many want God to take over your own? You want God to take over your own? He said, mind my own first. Philippians 2. Twenty one and twenty two. For all seek their own and not the things which are Jesus Christ. But ye know the proof of him as a son with the Father, he has served with me in the gospel. All seek their own. All, but not the things that be of Jesus Christ. Mind my own first. And I'll take over your own. Set your affections on the things that are from above. And you live above all circumstances of life. That's what God is saying. Invest in my own first. And you never know dry seasons in your life. Your days of dry seasons are over. I said they are over. He said we have left all and we have followed thee. What shall we have then? He said hundred folds of this. All that you have left. And on top of it. Life everlasting. Matthew chapter 2, 20, chapter 10, no, no, Mark chapter 10, verse 28 to 30. Life everlasting on top of hundred foods. Many are going to enter that hundred food company this year. I say hundred food company. That whatever time you left for God, it will multiply it a hundred food for you. Whatever the source you invest in promoting his kingdom, it multiplies a hundred food for you. In the name of Jesus. If you stay committed to advancing my kingdom, you have committed me to your continuous advancement in life. If you will stay committed to advancing my kingdom, you have committed me to your continuous advancement in life. He <laughs> said to me, life is not meant for up and down, but for ups and ups. Proverbs 4 and verse 18, the part of the joy that is a shining light is ordained to shine more and more and more until Jesus returns, which was called the perfect day. More and more. No one's life will be more and less again. <laughs> but more and more and more and more. Just stay committed in advancing this kingdom at your various levels, on your prayer altar. Anybody who can eat can pray if your heart is there. Can I hear you, amen? amen? If you stay committed, if you will stay committed to enlarging my kingdom, you have committed me to your endless enlargement and life. Endless enlargement. Endless enlargement. Just keep your commitment to enlarging my kingdom. You have committed me to your continuous enlargement and life. In the name of Jesus, the day of harrowing and struggling, are over in your life. Yeah.